Enough is enough. We can no longer stand by and allow corporate greed that puts profit before people. Protesters rallied outside of the federal courthouse in Portland Monday as a judge started hearing the case surrounding a proposed Kroger Albertsons merger. Federal regulators argue the multi billion dollar deal is anti competitive, while the grocers say it will benefit consumers, not hurt them. In continuing coverage tonight, Kroger and Albertsons were in court Monday defending the plan against the Federal Trade Commission that filed a lawsuit back in February looking to block it. The $24 billion deal, the largest proposed merger in U.S. history, was first announced in October of 2022. The chain saying a merger would lower prices and help them compete with larger stores like Walmart. Many employees protested outside the courthouse Monday morning as the FTC argues the merge would eliminate competition, increase prices and lower employee wages. Already Americans pay too high of grocery prices and if competition is removed from this merger, then the prices could go even higher. It's going to be real trouble uh, because a lot of us are in fixed incomes and we just can't afford higher prices right now. If the deal goes through, Kroger and Albertsons have already said they will sell dozens of Safeway, Albertsons and QFC stores in Oregon and Washington, concerning frequent shoppers. It's now up to a federal judge to decide whether or not to grant the FTC's request for a delay as they continue to fight the merge.